front, back, side, side. Okay, so for height comparisons, we have him next to the Tamashi Nations, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He is next to the Monocle Fits, um, Chosen One's Goku Black. And he's a bit shorter. And we're going to do one more comparison. Because I thought I'm going to do Super Saiyan 5 Goku. Now, Super Saiyan 5 Goku is definitely, surprisingly a bit, even if I tilt his head forward, He's a bit taller than Goku Black, and I thought this mold, maybe it's because of the legs, different legs, I'm assuming make him a bit taller. So that's that. Oh yeah, I gotta do the height. How could I forget? Let me get Super Saiyan 4 Goku out the way, or at least the regular one. To the top of his hair, to the tightest spike of his hair, he is about, let's say six and a half, to the top of his forehead, five and a half. Next. Okay, so kicking off accessories, he comes with five different face plates. He comes with one stern face looking off to the side, one smirking face looking forward, one smirking face looking down and to the side, one stern face looking forward, and one yelling face. Now, what I will say about these faces is that when you compare them with the Tamashi Nations version of the face, the eyes look a bit, for lack of a better way of saying it, boxy. I'll put a picture up somewhere, but moving forward. Okay, so for hand accessories of Go Super Saiyan 4 Goku Black, he comes with two grabby hands, two instant transmission hands, two open palm hands, this hand, open palm grabby hands with a peg in it, and two martial arts clothes hands. And by the way, the ring is painted on each hand well enough. It's not super the cleanest paint, but it's not super sloppy either. Okay, for the last bit of accessories for Super Saiyan 4 Goku Black, you get a pink hair accessory, which is cool, but the thing that sucks is that he doesn't come with any face plates to match with the hair. So it's a bunch of black eyebrows with pink hair. It looks like he's wearing a wig. So that's not very good. But we'll come back to that in a little bit. We're gonna do a little bonus round for accessories. And then up next, the last accessory that you get is the Kamehameha effect piece and it looks good. Um, here I'm gonna put up a comparison of the Demoniacal Chosen One's Kamehameha effect piece and it's a little bit bigger and darker. And besides that, the one that comes in the Kong Studios release with Super Saiyan 4 Goku Black, the, the light rays shooting from the ball are a lot more soft. Now, it's not soft to the point of it being, like, super wiggly, but com the one from Chosen One is a lot stiffer. The plastic is a lot stiffer, so I just thought that was something to note. Okay, now for the bonus round of accessories. So, here I just did a couple of mixing and matching of the hair, and it looks really cool. I thought I, I figured I'd show you guys that. But also, what I did is, since I have the Super Saiyan 5 Rosé Goku Black, I wanted to see if the face plates would fit onto this Goku Black for the pink hair. And they do, but it's not a perfect fit. As you can see with pictures on the screen, front and side profile view, from the profile view, you can see there's definitely gapping with the face plate. So, if y'all were curious about that, now you know. Also, I also wanted to see, since he this Goku Black doesn't come with a Keyblade. Could you use the one from the Chosen Ones? And of course, if you're, if you're gonna use the one from the Chosen Ones, you'll also need the hand. And I'm happy to tell you that it does work, but it, once again, doesn't work perfectly. What you get is the, the peg on the Kong Studios Super Saiyan 4 Goku Black. The wrist peg is a bit big for the hand from the Chosen Ones, but by not demoniacal fit. So you'll probably want to heat that hand up if you want to fit it on and even then it's still not a perfect fit. And also of course you're using that hand because you want to use the keyblade. And of course that hand doesn't have the fur on fur on it. So you know when you're taking your pictures be uh, mindful of that. But all that is all for that. Moving on to articulation and then closing thoughts. And
Okay, so for this section of the articulation, I just wanted to say this real quick. The hips are very disappointing on this Goku Black figure. It's actually worse than even the Super Saiyan 5 Goku. And those weren't the best hips to begin with either. But as you can see in the pictures, you would have think since it was based off of Tamashii Nation's Goku Black hips that they would have been on par with each other in terms of articulation and move, uh, you know, range of movement, but they're not. It's very limited for whatever reason. You can see it going forward, you can see it uh, out to the side. Not very good at all, I don't know what's up with that. And it looks like they're using the same joints. Maybe I'll put a picture up on the screen, maybe I won't, but in terms of like the looking at the joints side by side. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that. that. That was very disappointing for me. And low key, I feel like the extra plastic on the back of the ankle hinders the foot from going down a bit further, but not the biggest deal in the world. Going up, I think it's a similar issue. Ankle rocker actually works pretty good because it got a nice big ball, pause, and toe hinge. So, my overall thoughts on this figure. Man, this figure slick as hell, boy. <laughs> but, um, and that's in terms of aesthetics. In terms of overall ratings, articulation isn't very good. Six out of ten. Those hips definitely need some work. In terms of accessories, 8.5 out of 10. It's not super extraordinary, and I know I've probably given higher ratings before, but I'm starting to think about it. A bunch of hands and a blast effect is... I feel like it's, that should be standard for Dragon Ball. In terms of what you call it, what's the last one? Aesthetic. <laughs> I'm here blanking out. But aesthetic, 8.5 out of 10. Is, I was really trying to put my bias aside for the black fur look because that looks awesome. I think it's by far the best looking Goku Black Super Saiyan 4 figure that they've released. And they've released what? Three others? Or two others? I don't know. But if this is in, still in stock on 5K Toys, I would say go pick them up, especially if you don't have the other two. Now, there is one thing I will say. Maybe if you do have the other one, you probably might buy this just for the, the pink hair. So you could put it with the pink fur version. But with that being said, what else? Oh, yeah. Once again, I almost forget. Thank y'all for over a thousand subscribers. Now, is this a, a part of the thousand subscribers special no i'm still <laughs> brainstorming and trying to cook cook something up so y'all hopefully it's not 2000 by the time i finally figure something out to say or do but thank y'all that's just that's this is incredible like it just picked up all of a sudden i know that you guys seem to really like the news video but i don't know it's not always news to report on i feel like more often than not there's always something to review and also, I don't want this, I don't want y'all to think this is strictly only Dragon Ball Z figures to be reviewed on this channel. I have other figures to review that's not Dragon Ball related, but I feel like that's kind of what I'm building my channel around at this point, or that's what it's uh, gonna be known for at this point. So, not gonna change that. Of course, this old Dragon Ball will always be a mainstay and have a home here, but I want to review other stuff, other figures as well. But with that being said, what else? This is the part where I just kind of ramble on. Try to think, try and make sure I didn't forget anything. But with that being said, um, yeah, peace out. Because I can't think of anything. And stay tuned for the next review.